So how does a Philips Hue motion sensor compare to a Shelly Plus H&T? Hi, I'm doing some tinkering today. It's another Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul, and you may already know that the Philips Hue motion sensor actually can tell you the temperature of the room it's installed into. Now I have a little experiment going on here uh, with my desk. I've got some Ruby sensors. I've got the Shelly H&T. Uh, this is the, the new one. And I realized I have a spare Philips Hue motion sensor. Now when Signify were building these sensors, basically they bought a component to detect motion. And that same little chip had temperature on it as well. And so with Home Assistant, I can see the temperature. And now I'm going to show you in Home Assistant how well does this thing measure temperature compared to this thing. Well, let's look, shall we? Here I am in Home Assistant, and I've put a little graph together in InfluxDB. You may have seen me do a few other videos on InfluxDB. I haven't explored it all, but I love it. You can make some very simple little graphs in it. Go to explore. Here's one I prepared earlier. Looking at the last 24 hours, the blue is the hue and the purple is the shelly. Do you see a little bit of a trend? Let's open this up to the last seven days. Look at this. So you can see the hue is 17.1 and the shelly 19.5. Hmm. But it looks rather consistent. Again, pick another peak. Uh, this one now 15.6 and 17.8. So there you go. It's actually quite consistent. So this little thing, it measures around two and a half to 2.2 degrees cooler than the actual temperature. Now the reason for that might be of course that the temperature sensor, this is not designed to measure temperature, but as others have reported, and I'm here to tell you as well with some facts, a nice graph, that's cold hard data there, that it actually measures quite accurately, but it seems to always be two and a half degrees off. Now in Home Assistant, you can set yourself an offset so that your Home Assistant dashboard will read the temperature from one of these motion sensors and it will tell you what the real temperature is. So in a sense, I've used this Shelly Plus H&T, believing that it is the truth, and I could use it to assess what is the offset needed for the Philips Hue motion sensor temperature measurement what, what should I set the offset to be? Now, I would say about 2.3. You could do exactly what I've done and see what yours is like. But there you go. It, uh, it works. And according to the graph, it looks pretty consistent. Right. That's it for today. I'll see you next time when we can compare the Ruvies and the Philips Hue and the Shelly Plus HMT. The experiment continues. Press subscribe and I'll see you for another Smart Home Sunday next Sunday. Bye.